First, we get the cube x and delete, and we are going to add a torus to create the shape of the chain. So shift a mesh torus here. You can click on this little window here, and then we can put less segments. So what I'm going to do is click here first, and then click wireframe. So I can see the wireframe on this. So segments you can put less. And then after, when I make the chain, I can put a um, subdivision surface. I put this, so I have this line exactly on the Y axis. Here you see this edge. So I am going to put eight in major segments. And then I can go in top view and tab to go in edit mode. Then here I can select these, shift these and I'm going to um, bevel to create two lines and then I can get this and then drag it on the X axis. So I go in X-ray, select these and these. So make sure to be in X-ray. So this is selecting on the other side too. Here, control B and then put a little like this. And then we are going to get just one side, click, drag down here, and then GX, we drag like this to create one part. And to put this thicker, you can go in edit mode, A to select everything, and then Alt um, S. And you see, you can put this thicker. So I'm going to put it um, like this. Or maybe a little smaller, like this. Then I can duplicate this and move it to create the other parts. Shift D, Escape, G, X. Move it on X like this. And then rotate R, X, 90, Enter. Like this, I can go on the minus y here g x and move it not too close because i don't want this part to be inside the other part like this and you see these lines here on this point here at z to go back here and i can move it see it is inside um, g x like this and then if you want to put this smooth go in the modifiers add modifier subdivision surface put at 2 and for the render it's going to look like this so you can disable the wireframe here right click shade smooth like this and then I'm going to disable the subdivision in the viewport. Then I can put more. So I'm going to put an array modifier. So add modifier, then put array. And then you can put a lot more. So first, this, we're going to move it here. So here in factor X, you can put less like this. You can go in um, wireframe with Alt Z just here and then this you can put this a little less like this maybe um seven eight like this so this is really close but not going through the other part like this and then you can put more with the count of this. And when you put the subdivision, it's going to be like this. So this you can put smaller S here. And then we are going to put a curve, create a shape. And then this is going to be on the curve. So go on top, shift A, and then curve, busy curve. You add a curve. So now you have the curve here. Go in edit mode, tab. And then X, we want to delete this X vertices, 
open this little menu with a T, this, and in edit mode of course, and then here you have a draw, not the annotate here, this one, the draw a freehand spline. Click on this, then this you can create the curve that you want, for example I put this, and then this I can put smaller, I can put this on the curve. So click on this and then add modifier, put a curve modifier, select the curve, this one, then this is following and make sure to be on X because when we created the, um, the chain with the toys, with, we put it here and then move it on the X axis. So if you moved on the Y axis, you'll have to put the form on Y. And if on um, this one, see this one minus Y, so this Y, X minus X, or on Z minus Z, put on this. So mine is on X. And then when I get the curve, uh, not the curve, the chain here, G, X, move on X, and going to move on the curve here. So I can go in the array, put more. Now I have more on the curve, like this. And I can still change the curve. So click on the basic curve, edit mode, and select the box here. And I have these points, G, I can move them, and it is moving the chain. So you can put this more up, for example, this, and then adjust here to put on everything, or if you have too much, put less. And you see, if you uh, move to, um, if the curve is too small compared to this, T is going to be deformed here. So make sure this is like this. So this line is following the actual curve here. This, so it is not deformed. And then you have your chain. And if you want to animate it, for example, create a um, necklace or something like this, this is going to be completely different and it is way more difficult. So you have um, a good tutorial that I watched uh, some time ago. I'm going to put the link in the description if you want to watch it. And it is way more advanced to create um, animation with your curve. So if you want to get my um, 3D resources, so it is a list of 50 and more websites where you can download textures, 3D models, animation, sound effect, characters, HDRs, icons, you have a lot, lot of websites. So you have the link in the description to access this list. And I will see you in another video. Bye.